Hey there, ready to go from this to this? Well, let's dive into the magic. First up, I'm prepping those lids with the Hourglass Concealer, ensuring a smooth canvas for our eyeshadow. I'm opting for a fluffy brush to blend, avoiding any extra product buildup that might hinder our blending game. Now onto the eyeshadow journey, we're starting light and working our way to the deeper tones. Using an ancient fluffy brush, for the life of me, I cannot remember where this brush comes from. But I am laying down the shade MM2 to even out my lid and set the stage for a seamless blending situation. Then with the same brush, I am dipping it into the shade MM4 for a touch of depth, building that transition shade slowly but surely, okay? This is not a sprint, this is a marathon. Next up, with the same brush, I am dipping into the color MM8, a warm medium brown color, and that is going to be delicately placed just above the crease. I want to have the lightest diffused V shape at the outer corners. Then I'm going to be adding a tad of the shade MM6 with a denser brush for a whisper of definition. I do love a good smoky eye, but that is not the look we are going for today. Today we are going for balanced and soft. I do go back to my crusty, dusty brush with no products on it and just kind of marry it all together and just taking my time and really blending it all together. For that extra pop, I am going to be adding a touch of light shadow in the center of my eyes. Using a small, dense brush, I kind of carve out a gentle, very soft cut crease, I would say, and I'm going to extend it outwards to kind of elongate and lift. So just adding a little bit of that light shadow at the ends, as you can see right here, just kind of makes my eyes a bit more lifted. Now brace yourself, <laughs> it's eyeliner time. I'm starting with the NYX Eyebrow Tint Pen to just kind of map out the wing. And when I say map out, I just mean a little flick at the end. I like using a eyebrow tint for this one because it just keeps it soft and forgiving. So if I make a mistake, I can easily just wipe it away and redo it. Once the blueprint is set, I'm gonna be filling it in with the Huda Beauty Quick and Easy Liner. Now this is a proper liner. Once I'm done with the wing, I'm also going to be filling in those places between my lashes just because I have really sparse lashes. And this way I get like this really nice natural depth instead of like a line right across my lash line, if that makes sense. I feel like when I go completely over my lash line, I lose a little bit of that lid space. Then I'm going to curl those lashes and then coat them with the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, really focusing on the tips or like the ends of my lashes and not going over that curl just to preserve everything. We want to preserve the curl and I usually do two coats. So I do one coat, let it dry down a little bit and then I go back. So this is a new product in my routine and I fell in love with it at first try, okay? It is the Novelty Number 1 Luminous Peptide Serum from Farsely. This leaves my skin looking so fresh and glowy and it works so well under makeup. This is a dry skin girl's dream. Luminizers always feels too heavy for me, but this is pretty good and honestly can be worn on its own with some concealer and bronzer for like a really glowy summer but light makeup look. So. I'm in love. Like, just look at this. Now it's time for foundation. A bit of that warm ivory under my eyes as a concealer. And then for my face, I'm doing a thin layer of warm ivory and then a thin layer of sand. Thin layers, folks. Less is more to keep that skin-like finish intact. Thank you. 
and before blending i like to add some setting spray this just makes the whole process easier to blend and it just gives you a more seamless skin look and now i'm gonna blend and as you can see it looks so freaking good i love this foundation i love the peptide serum i feel like that is a match made in heaven For under the eyes, I am using a fluffy brush to blend it out. Yes, no concealer indeed. Just because this foundation is so creamy and easy to blend, but it also gives you like the right amount of coverage. I've been also trying to use less product for under my eyes so that it doesn't set in the creases and make it look too heavy during the day. Sometimes I make the mistake of doing like too much concealer and then I have to use too much powder and then that just makes it look cakey and just not comfortable at all for my dry skin so i'm really loving the less is more philosophy at the moment see how it all looks like one instead of like a really bright under eye yeah this is what i'm loving at the moment Then I'm gonna go back with the foundation brush and I am packing it with the soft sculpt shaping stick in the shade light medium. This is a contour stick I believe but it is a little bit too warm. So I have been using it as a creamy bronzer instead. This just melts so good into the skin without being too much. Now that we are done with the cream products, it's time for powder. I am setting my face with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder with a fluffy brush. Swirl it onto my forearm before going in lightly under my eyes. This is by far my favorite setting powder ever. I've always been a little bit hesitant to buy it because it is a bit on the pricier side, but it is so freaking good. Your makeup stays put when I use this powder. I don't even need a lot. I'm gonna put a little bit on my T-zone as well, of course. We wanna look glowy, not sweaty. Time to bronze. I am adding that to my cheeks where I place the cream bronzer. Trying to not go overboard and make it look muddy because I have a tendency to do so. I feel like we all do. Less is more, that seems to be the theme of the day. And then just a tiny bit on my forehead. Once I have gone over the powders and matted my face pretty much, I like to add some brown shadow on my lower lash line, then top that off with some mascara. I like doing this step after powder because now my under eyes is set and dry, so it has less chance of transferring. So yeah, that's what I do. Now to pull this look together, I am doing my favorite lip combo of all time. I am lining my lips with the creamiest liner from Huda Beauty. And once it dries down, it becomes waterproof. It stays put throughout the day, so I rarely have to touch up my liner after eating just the gloss. I wanted a more pouty look today, so that's why I am going right over my cupid's bow, lining the rest as per usual. And then I'm just going to contour my lips just a little bit so that the middle part is brighter and that is going to give you more of a pouty look sometimes i also like to soften the liner out with a smaller brush like this sometimes i'm just lazy and use my fingers but today i am using a little brush to be professional for you guys now i'm gonna top that off with a light layer of gloss this is the full filler gloss from huda beauty this shade is absolutely stunning it smells slightly like toasted coconut vanilla once we are all done i'm gonna be setting all of that with the urban decay all-nighter setting spray and i'm gonna wait for it to dry down with the help of my little fan and voila ladies and gentlemen this is the look a warm glowy soft glam look that is perfect for any occasion honestly let's take this show on the Same road -ish, different day i'll be bored out my mind hometown of my place but while i'm in my prime gotta go get away hop a train cop a flight and ride tonight i got thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys